Hello Super Friends and welcome to DC TV Talk. This is the show where we talk all things Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow and Black Lightning. And in today's video we're going to be discussing the potential and the question regarding whether Ricardo Diaz is going to come out of Arrow Season 6 alive or dead. So let's discuss. This has been something that has been brought up a lot recently, is that whether Ricardo Diaz, aka Richard Dragon, aka the Dragon, whatever you want to call him, whether he's actually going to come out of the season alive or whether he's going to die by the end of the season like most of those Arrow villains. Because when you look at Arrow's previous villains, most of them die in the season finale. Whether you look at Malcolm Merlin, Rachel Ghoul, Damian Dark, Adrian Chase, they were all killed uh, in the season finale. Obviously, uh, they left Slade Wilson alive. He's kind of the exception. And obviously, he did have other exceptions as well, like Malcolm Merlin. He, he came back and Damian Dark came back on Legends. But, you know, most of the time, the main villains do die by the end of the season. But there has been a lot of questions rising about whether Ricardo Diaz is going to suffer the same fate. These questions have been posed due to the current storyline going on in Arrow Season 6, which is that Oliver is obviously almost being arrested. Well, actually, he was arrested uh, last season for being the Green Arrow. And obviously, this is something that's been going on throughout all of Arrow's lifetime, but it's really ramped up at the moment as he has now pretty much been arrested under the suspicion of being the Green Arrow. And this has kind of made people think, well, if... Oliver's not around as the Green Arrow, who's actually going to stop Ricardo Diaz? Because let's be honest, it's not like New Team Arrow are going to be able to do it. Diggle was MIA as uh, Argus agent, so what is actually going to be there? What is the force to stop Diaz? Because realistically, without the Green Arrow, there isn't really anybody, and this could make us believe that if Oliver is actually going to go to prison in the season finale, which has been heavily suggested, then who's actually going to stop Diaz? So the current theory going around is that Ricardo Diaz is actually going to survive this season and is going to go into season 7 again as the main villain, or at least a part of the main villain, and it's actually going to continue on, which is something that we had never seen on Arrow before. This would be a very unique premise, especially when Ricardo Diaz has had such a short lifetime as the villain, because he, obviously he was only introduced as the main villain in episode 13 after he killed Caden James. So it's kind of relieving in a sense to believe that he would continue on as the season 7 villain because he hasn't had that long of a life cycle. He literally came in at halfway through the season and he's been really good. Ricardo Diaz has been a really great villain on Arrow so to, I was actually kind of worried that you know he'd only have half a season but if he's actually going to go into season 7 as a villain and continue on then that's going to be great for his life cycle and for his character going forward. Also very recently in Arrow season 6 we have seen the Quadrant be introduced which is this basically massive criminal enterprise throughout the US. And this is something that Ricardo Diaz has managed to get his fingers in also, as he is now one of the leading, like, ranking members of the Quadrant. You know, the Quadrant has four leaders, he shot one of them and took his place. And that is now where he is sat. So this has made people think that perhaps the villain of Season 6 is not going to be just Ricardo Diaz, but it's also going to be the Quadrant who have now been heavily set up. Similar to what they did in Season 5 with Caden James. They kind of set him up a couple of times, they mentioned him. Again, in Arrow Season 3, they kind of name-dropped Damian Dark a couple of times. And they've done that here in Season 6 with the Quadrant. We've actually seen the Quadrant, and we've seen now Ricardo Diaz kind of become, you know, a high-ranking official there. So the theory going round is that perhaps if Oliver is going to prison, then the Quadrant is going to rise, and Ricardo Diaz rising with it. And this means that the main villain for Season 7 is actually going to be the Quadrant alongside Ricardo Diaz as kind of their leader. This could also lead to Ricardo Diaz moving up the ranks in the actual official Starling or Star City, you know, police department and in the Star City law official. Because when you look at it, obviously, if Oliver being the mayor has now gone, obviously we know that he was indicted and obviously now Quentin Lance is the mayor. And it's now been heavily suggested that Quentin is going to die this season, that perhaps Ricardo Diaz is going to kill him. Could that mean that Ricardo Diaz could just somehow, you know, move up the ranks and become the mayor of Star City? Because realistically... If Quentin's going to die, which seems highly likely at this point, then that means that Ricardo Diaz is kind of... I mean, he's got so much control. He could, in a way, especially, again, if the Green Arrow is not around to stop him, he could easily kind of move his way up into that position and kind of take over Star City, which, when you look back at the past few episodes, that is ultimately his goal. His goal is to take over Star City. You know, he always says, you know, there's all those villains who want to destroy the city and to burn it down. Why would you destroy a city when you could take it over? You know, that's his logic. And this could be, you know, all the puzzle pieces moving in just the right way to actually make him now the mayor of Star City and therefore the ruler of it. And that means he could take it over and do everything he wanted to do. And it kind of makes sense when you think about it in that regard. 
So personally, I think that this theory is highly, highly probable. I think that the fact that Oliver is most likely going to jail at the end of this season, no one's going to be there to stop Diaz and his rise to power with the Quadrant, because New Team Arrow, while they're going to be on their own thing, I, I, I do believe that New Team Arrow is also going to continue into Season 7. I mean, I, I'm sure they'll come together at some point, but I don't think they'll ever, you know, fully join as just a single team again, because especially characters like Dino and Renee, they've just gone too far, and I don't think Oliver would ever accept them back. So I think we'll have all those elements going into Season 7, and because Oliver's not going to be around to stop Diaz and the rise of the Quadrant, they're going to be able to find their way and move their way up the Star City official ranking to actually become, you know, these basically the leaders of Star City being the Quadrant, which would be a pretty, you know, terrifying thing. And Ricardo Diaz in turn becoming the mayor and therefore the ruler of Star City, he would have officially taken it over, which was his goal originally. And perhaps Oliver is going to have to come back and take Star City back from the guy who has won being Ricardo Diaz. So tell me what you guys think about this theory in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like I say, this is a very probable theory and I think it is going to happen. I think it has a very strong potential of happening, especially because I'm pretty like 99.9% .9 sure that Oliver Queen is going to jail by the end of this season. And, you know, he'll, I mean, obviously he'll get out in Season 7 at some point. Uh, I've actually got another video coming up about that this week. But it's a very interesting idea to look at Oliver going to jail and then Ricardo Diaz just taking over Star City, which, like I said, is his original goal. And I think it just seems very likely and all the pieces just move together in a very convenient way. So thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. It'll help me out a lot. And share this video with anyone and everyone you know who loves DC TV and get them to join the community. And as always, guys, please subscribe for all of your latest content on Supergirl, The Flash, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, and Black Lightning. And with all that said, guys, I hope to see you again in my next video.